All right, so I'm here with Arnold Kaufman yes. and Michelle. Oh God, don't and, tell me. And, and um, I want to share Arnold because he's one of the main reasons I came to this area because <laughs> of his passion for health and healing. And so I just wanted him to share a little bit about his passion and what okay. he does on a daily basis. And so, so it's actually one word, work, <laughs> work, and work. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Yeah, uh, but each day you spend helping people yeah, learn how to pretty, heal naturally. Pretty, yeah, which means um, right now I have a 30-day program. Uh, what I do is I feed 30 people for free. I give them, they give me $100, and in a month I give them the money back. But during that time, I'm their mother, I'm their father, I'm their sister, I'm their brother, <laughs> I'm their best friend. And also... The and their teacher. Is, and also they can never be sick again, which means this is not like a, for one month, it's for a lifetime. So what I do is try to get the most love them circumstances possible to make sure they succeed and the whole key and I actually had a really couple of really good um, connections today with a couple of people who really didn't get that and they had to love themselves it's not about food it's about loving yourself and that's the point I really try to you know really push across <coughs> if you don't have love I don't care what you eat I don't care what exercise it's not going to work so I really push that as the primary uh, focus create the most loving care environment for yourself. And what I do is I essentially give away a number a number wise fourteen thousand five hundred dollars worth of food per month. And I did that last year I gave fourteen thousand? Five hundred dollars. Wow. Four hundred and fifty times thirty. Last year I gave away seventy thousand dollars worth of food. Last year was my best year in business. <laughs> best so year the more you give away the more you give away it comes back to you. So that's that's yeah, it's works funny that way, but the more you give it comes back to you. A uh, lady came in, uh, I'll talk about her, because I'm making, actually I'm making a documentary about her. Her and her son. It's so powerful, it's unbelievable. And Michelle was there, she saw the transformation. It was a, a woman came in here about, about three months ago with her son, who was in a wheelchair and looked like a zombie. Literally. 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 We Literally. All saw he was him. like this. Right, he was. Just like that. Just like that. He did Four not years old. Four years old, in did not make any movement, did not make anything in a wheelchair. He had a special helmet, so this way, in case he fell, he wouldn't break his face. And I began talking to mother over and over and over and over and over. He gave her hugs, boom, 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 boom. Within a month, we convinced her to change. Uh, and she was on a special diet called a ketogenic diet. Ketogenic diet was a high fat diet. Something's coming. That's the cat. <laughs> high fat diet with no fruits and vegetables, zero fruit and vegetables. And the powder, the soy powder. And soy powder, I mean, soy, soy lecithin. She was, uh, some, uh, what do you call them, uh, epileptic seizures. Went to and, children's hospital, like, and, every week. Every week, two, three times a week, two, three times a month. She changed her diet, her son's diet, and within a month, all seizures within stopped. A week, uh, and also within a week, he was, all, all seizures, of a sudden, his head was up, he was walking was up, around. He got out of the wheelchair, began walking. Before, before I met him for four years, he said maybe one word. Now he knows your name. Now he knows his name. He's talking, I know like 30, 40, 50 words. Unbelievable transformation. Unbelievable. And he, has, did he, he, he has cerebral, cerebral palsy, epileptic seizures. When I first met him, I thought he was autistic. Of course, he he just he didn't he couldn't stare at you. He couldn't stare at you. He was just like blank. He Literally, was like a zombie. Yeah. Like a zombie. Within two months, uh, completely changed. Someone just sees this out of the blue and they've never heard of you. What would right. be the one suggestion you would give them to change their life? Love themselves. And what does that look like? It looks like giving himself a hug. Well, two factors. And I tell pretty much everyone everyone the same thing. Well, one, oh. get in a power stance. And anybody ever watch me, I do this all the time. It's a power stance and basically says, you're in charge. So you stand like that, I stand just like in general. That. Yeah, somehow it's, it's a study, and I didn't realize it. It's a study done by Harvard University. By being in this position, it raises the cortisol levels. When really? When you raise the cortisol level, what it does is it actually enhances your being. And I tell them over and over and over, uh, really constantly say positive things about yourself. You don't say anything about it, you gotta really take charge of your life. It's not about food, it's about taking charge of your life, which means, for me, I'm a lean, mean, fighting machine. And basically, when I do this a lot, I basically, I take the other person's being into my being to see, um, just get a full scope of who they are. And I, I really encourage them to do this co constantly. The other thing I encourage is to do this, to hug themselves continuously, because I don't expect hugs from anybody, I don't expect love from anybody, I don't expect, I don't, I don't expect anybody for support. Which means one of the things people, they try for support from all over the place, is to forget that, you guys, 
You have 75 trillion cells within you. They'll give you all the support you need. You don't need anybody else. You don't, not only that, I don't think you should, you should depend on anybody else. Like, a lot of people come for support, but the, my thing is they have to become independent of me. I tell people, don't believe a word I say. I'm lying to you. If this makes sense to you, absolutely do it. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. So, so power stands and hug themselves. It's the most important. It's not about food. It's not about food. So it's why a, does it always seem like it boils down to food? It's the wrong, the wrong, the wrong it's way. The wrong way. It. Wrong way. You can, say for example, you have the food down pat. You have the exercise. You have the. You have everything down pat. You don't have the love. It's not going to work. You're in a toxic environment. It's not going to work. No way. You know, it's not about food at all. Food is, is a place of roll, but the more you love and hug yourself, you mean the wrong food, and 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 feel powerful about yourself, is gonna be just as effective, in my opinion. In my opinion. All right. From what well, I've that's seen. a pretty good opinion. <laughs> well, in my opinion, my humble opinion, from what I see, there are choice. There's no excuses now for the. I don't know. There is a choice. That means there's a choice every time they go to doctors, every time they give me chemotherapy, every time they have radiation. Because there's so many people come to me, says that, you know, we had a lady came to me uh, about four months, no, about a year ago, she had double mastectomy. She took the course with me, she said, I didn't know. There's no excuses now. Mm -hmm. Which means every time I train one person, I'm not training one, I'm training 100 people. I'm training that one person, I can train their brother, their sister, their father, their mother, their church members, their family members, the people in their neighborhood, their, their work, all the social. That's 100 people, which means 100 people in Lansdale should be here at least 10 or 15 times over the next two years. And I mean, they'll get it. Right. They'll get, no doubt in my mind they'll get it. And if I've made an impact in most people in Lansdale, I'll say a good percentage have heard of me, not so next, not maybe not, not like on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but they have it for some source. The thing is that they're over and over and over. I have to hear at least 15, 20 times so they get it. Mm -hmm. And two years' time is plenty of time for me to do it. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate your mission and yeah. I appreciate yeah. being here with you. Yay. 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 All right. Anyway, love, love. It. Okay. Bye.